All right. Our next speaker will be uh, Dee Baldwin, uh, who has worked for Black Oak Casino for six years in marketing department. She currently is the marketing media coordinator. In 2010, was responsible for the creation and success of a national gaming award-winning promotion called... Let's start that sentence again. In 2010, she was responsible for the creation and success of a national gaming award-winning promotion called Light Up Your Holidays, D. Baldwin. Oh. Oh. And we all have Leif Kruger, who has uh, worked for Black Oak Casino for 10 years. In 2004, Leif created the Players Club and has been in charge of all player reinvestment strategy since its inception. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to. We are rarely seen apart anyway, don't worry. Um, so if any of you have ever seen me at the casino, you know I like to start things off with a joke. So I had one all written for coming out this morning, and all of a sudden, Pastor Mike stole my thunder. So I had the May 21st joke also, but I let the pastor take it anyway. But Dee is going to talk about how humor and how social media are related. So we're actually here to talk about how to integrate promotions, but after listening here all day uh, to everybody speak, there was a couple things that I wanted to uh, kind of hit on. Um, Becky, I love that you talked about a small town Phil. Uh, I'm actually third generation Tuolumne. If you notice, I do have all my teeth. Um, yeah, I know, it's, a, it's surprising. Only a Tuolumne girl can make that joke, so be careful. Um, anyway, I grew up in uh, the original social networking, which was my mother's hair salon of 20 years, which is where you found out all the happenings, right? So, you know, but we moved on to a new, new generation, um, which is now I'm working at Black Oak Casino as a marketing media coordinator, as you heard. And it's really hard when you come into kind of that old school feel to try to get everybody on board of the social networking. Everybody feels like, oh my gosh, we don't want to post ourselves on there and people will be talking bad about us and we'll be doing all this and what if we do have our Facebook and somebody's rights, you know, they lost so much money at the casino. We don't want that. But the problem is, is people are going to write that anyway. So it's called the collateral damage control. We all know about that. You know, it's kind of one of those feelings of, you know, as long as they're talking about you, it's still good which is kind of the approach we took when we did our Facebook page. And, and the example I like to use is, um, who's a Giants fan out here? Everybody raise your hand. Giants, go Giants, yeah? All right. The difference between the um, uh, Tim Linscombe and also, uh, who was this one? Thank you, Michael Phelps. All right, we all remember Michael Phelps got in a little bit of trouble a couple years ago. And Timmy Linscombe also got in some trouble. The problem is, is uh, Michael Phelps did not have Twitter and Facebook and all that at the time. He was, I, on, he was on MySpace. I think he was on MySpace. Linscombe did. If you all, you know, if you guys have seen all the things about Timmy, you know, he did a nice little spin. It's called damage control on his little problem where Michael Phelps did it. And as we know, we don't hear a lot about Michael Phelps anymore. So anyway, that's what we like to do. We like to do the, uh, the spin on everything. And so it's called that whole engage thing, you know, make sure you're, you're on there engaging with your people and all your guests and stuff. And so, um, and that's that, you know, that word of mouth marketing that we all love to hear. So the other thing that I wanted to make a, a point on before Leaf comes up is I was amazed on how people, and this is one thing we've learned, that they will take the word of a stranger on Facebook or Twitter as the gospel. Sorry, Pastor Mike. They will. They, they trust them. They, this, these are people they've never met. And I saw this in full action. Uh, my son, actually, for a senior project, uh, did a benefit for Greg Knoll of Crazy, Crazy Ivan. And I'm here setting up for the benefit. And all of a sudden, this woman comes up, gives him a big hug. And she goes, oh, my gosh, I'm Linda Marie. And my son kind of looks at her, you know, Linda Marie on Facebook. And he's like, oh, yeah, never met this woman before in her life. They're hugging it out. They're doing all this. They met through Facebook. And I know we've had a couple of stories that I, you didn't even meet each other until you got on Facebook. So it's just one of those great things that, again, is such a wonderful marketing tool. We still use direct mail. Who gets some of our direct mail? Raise your hand. 
please, come on. If not, give your address to this man after you, you know, at the end of this conference, please. We'd love to send you direct mail. Um, but we have to engage with them at every single um, media outlet that we have, and that is the social networking part. So with that being said, I'm going to turn it over to Leif. He's going to talk about some of the promotions that we have coming up on our social media. All right, so who here has been to the Black Oak Casino and taken part of one of our promotions? One, two, three, four, five. No wonder our numbers are down. Okay. Um, sign them up, sign them up. So, when you go, who's ever been to a casino and been part of a promotion? Three more people, good. This is not my target demographic, but I'm going to tell you. When you go to a casino, you're going to see a long list of rules. We do the same thing. We have a long list of rules that you have to do to be part of our promotion. And it'll explain how the promotion works. Now, as we've heard all day today, nobody reads anymore. So, what Black Oak Casino is going to do is when a new promotion is created, we're going to actually YouTube the filming, or I'm sorry, we're going to film it and then YouTube how the promotion works from your perspective, what you do. We have you seated at a machine, earning points. You go over to Players Club, you turn those points into entries. Your name gets pulled out of the drum and now you're playing for up to $100,000 every Saturday night between May and June. I didn't make up that last part. We're actually giving away up to $100,000 every Saturday night in May and June. So I, I got to plug it wherever I can. So that is how we're going to use social media to help get the information out to all of our audience. That's what these people are. It's an audience. We're an entertainment venue just like Marine World Great America. It's a different type of entertainment, but that's what it is. It's where people come to get away from whatever it is that's bothering them in life and they can escape. So we are their escape and we want to make sure that we're connecting with them on every level that we can. Um, some of the other ideas we had were, who here has a Facebook account? A few more hands went up. Okay. So if I asked you to change your profile picture to this, this is your Players Club card at Black Oak Casino next to your face. And then you did what? You posted it on your Facebook. What happens? No, Daryl, you don't win $100,000. But all of your friends see that you changed your profile picture. And they look at it. And what's next to your face? Your Players Club at Black Oak Casino card. Now, why would you do that? Well, of course, we're going to give you something on the other end for doing that. So you would come into the casino with your smartphone. Show us the picture. Show us your profile picture. And we're going to enter you into a drawing. At the end of a week or a month or a day, we're going to say you are the face of Black Oak Casino on Facebook, and you win X, whether that be $100 in cash, dinner for two at Seven Sisters. We, we, that's endless, what we can give them. But what we've done is we've just had you change your profile picture, and now all of your friends have top of mind awareness with Black Oak Casino. And isn't that the goal of any business to try and have top of mind awareness with not only your audience, but your audience, audience's audience? So that is what some of the things we're going to be doing in the very near future with social media. Um, one of the things I'd like you to do, though, because social media is very important, as we've all learned today. There is one thing that I don't want any of us to forget. Everybody can just stand up for one second. I want you to look behind you. Find someone you don't know. Well, that's hard for the people in the front row, isn't it? <laughs> See, you guys are good at Simon Says. All right, find someone next to you who you don't really know. Introduce yourself. Tell them about your business. All right, that's enough. That was a half-hour show. Oh, I think I lost them. All right, so... Don't forget that social networking is imperative to your business, but you can't forget this part. It's the eye to eye, the oral conversation that you're going to have with that someone that you can never get online. It, but it's a combination of using both those tools together to market your business and yourself. Is there any questions for D or myself as far as what the casino is doing for social media? Friday and Saturday. 
Friday and Saturday nights, 9 o'clock, up to $100,000. Yes, sir. We do use, how do we use them? We use them all the time. We use them with our direct mail program and with our personal URL site. I know Dee went over that a little earlier on the, on the Pearl sites. We, we tr we're trying to be as technologically advanced as any other casino out there. Um, and it's working. We are, we are as far as, you know, we're far more technology advanced than Chicken Ranch. Yes, ma'am. Do you have any projections or expectations of how many people will put your card next to their face? That's a good question. Now, um, uh, there's a company that did this already. Um, Dunkin' Donuts did this a couple years ago with their social media campaign, and they called it their Chulada campaign, right? Yeah. And what they did was they had they said, take a picture with you and your Chulada. That's a drink, not a not a exotic pet and put that on your profile picture and then they had a drawing for a free chulada for a week and that's how they it was the biggest campaign Dunkin Donuts ever did social media wise and it was as simple as just taking a picture with you with their drink so we're basically stealing their idea and putting a players club card up next to it so as far as you know tracking how many people are doing it you have to be very proactive with social media, every one of you knows that. If someone says something on your site, you have to have someone there knowledgeable enough to respond to it immediately. Because if, if they don't respond, if we don't respond to it immediately, it's we don't care about your question. So, and that can't be the answer that our audience receives. Yes? Can I ask, how do you handle that? Do you have someone 24-7? We, we don't have anyone 24-7 at the moment because we haven't launched it the way we want to. We have a black, uh, a Black Oak Casino page that you can be a friend of, and people can post their opportunities that we would like, they'd like to see us do better, and our things that we have done well and they want us to know about it. So we respond to both those things, and there are about three to four different people who respond to those on a regular basis. Now, if we get into the social media like we want to, where it's, you know, follow Leaf at Twitter, or it's a YouTube campaign, we will have 24-7 trained people to basically just respond to everything on the site. Except the days we're closed. Except for the days that we close. And we're closed on, yeah. that's right, never. <laughs> yes. As It is certainly not me, I promise you that. Daryl? <laughs> See, we learned something too. Anyone else? Well, we'd like to thank you for your time. Thank you.